Hello everybody, Anton is here. So before I decided to make the full functional vehicle design in 3D code, I did a, a test tutorial where I created the whole kind of sketch. So I was uh, looking for the ways to create stuff pretty fast and still that would look mechanically correct. But then I thought it was a pretty good idea to upload this sketch process to YouTube because I show all the key points that I showed later on in the full tutorial uh, and here it's a much faster process. This first video is about how I posed the mannequins from Unreal 4 inside Blender and I used them for the scale inside the car. I didn't use them later in the full tutorial because I found that using the 3D code mannequins is actually easier than using the Unreal 4 mannequins but it's still a pretty interesting user case so let's check it out. I'm a big fan of using Unreal Mannequin because I really like the proportions. It comes with really good rig. I used Maya Art Tools that uh, Unreal supplies for free. And, but here I will be using Blender to pose the character. And uh, now we have a really awesome plugin that has, which allows you to input the skeleton and the whole model inside Blender and allows you to pose it. The plugin is created by Jim Kruvy, it's available on Gumroad and I will put all the links in the documents, you can find it there. It's free, you can just download it and install it. His YouTube channel is a bit cumbersome because he's got really long videos on the stuff and how to do it. And it's not really good for purpose of concept artists since I just need to know how to post stuff and I kind of watched a few of his streams but they were too long. Here I will guide you through the installation process. So make sure you download the... Uh, add-on, make sure it's compatible with the current version of Blender. If not, it might be maybe you want to go and install previous version of Blender. Installing it is really simple. You have to go into Edit Preferences and just say Install and look for the zip file you have on you. So, uh, for example, here I go up, I have a zip file here and I just it will be installed to your system. It's really, really simple. Once it is installed, you might need to go and activate it here in the add-ons library. And you can, it's a bit tricky to find it, but if you have to like click here in the tools and go into the Mr. Mannequin tools right here. So now I have the tab here activated. I'll pick the mannequin skeleton rig, say load the rig, then say load the mesh so I can pick either female mannequin or male mannequin load the mesh and now I'm set uh, to go what I want to, to pick here is I want to go into this pose that will allow me to move the controllers otherwise you cannot and then I'm just pressing G and moving these guys around and rotating and placing everything in place um, this is the elbow controller, I have the knee controller, I'll fold the fingers, I have this, so I'll press R to rotate. And uh, it's all really quite self-explanatory and the rig is really nice, it's really cool. If you get something like overly twisted, it it might mean that you have your elbow, you see I've moved the elbow controller over the that place, over that position and twisted the whole arm. So you want to make sure it's correctly placed. And it's really fun and really nice to use. So definitely a huge thumbs up to Jim Crowey for making it so easy and great to set up. And then you can just export it as an OBJ file. So I went and picked the mesh and it, it does ch tend to jump in and out, um, out of pose. So don't worry about it. Just go and select the pose if it happens. Pick the mesh, go export OBJ and you will be able to export the pose uh, to 3D code. And the next two videos I will be posing uh, female and male skeletons. So you will be able to see how it's done in action.
So let's input the pattern chain driver inside the scene. So I'll start with a new empty scene. I need to switch this voxel to voxel layer to surface layers. Otherwise, if you input the model, it can produce a heavy voxel geometry. And I'll go into op input object and I just look for my file and input it. So I have it here already. I need to click auto scale straight away. It might have a respect negative volumes uh, turned on. You need to turn it off and you need to t turn on the input without visualization. Then hit apply and yes here. Yeah. And we have all, everything here nicely oh, laid. I think it's a duplicate of the passenger. So deleted that. The input in 3D code is a bit cumbersome. It's not as native in any other software application like Blender Maya. We have to go through the steps. But anyway, that's how we do it.